be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. You can do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman for uh, some fantastic beard products that'll make your beard look and smell great. You can also go to TCG Player using the affiliate link below and shop there to help support the show. And last but absolutely not least, go to GreyVikingGames.com with the link below to get those sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers Theric 6, back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena today. Uh, it is Brawl Day, we're playing Sithis. Another girl told me about Sithis. Don't want no STDs, so I ain't vibing with this. Uh, everyone should go check out the Young Scrolls on YouTube uh, and SoundCloud. Freaking great Elder Scrolls music. Or Elder Scrolls theme music, I guess. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're, we're playing Enchantments. We're, we're playing Enchantress. We got a good, good old fashioned Sithis. As usual, I'm not going to actually talk about all these cards, but the idea is uh, you cast a lot of spells. A lot of these spells are going to be uh, enchantments, and then you draw spells and you gain a little bit of life, uh, and then you just overwhelm your opponent by the fact that you have a ton of cards in play, a ton of cards in hand, and a pretty high life total. Uh, essentially, you're just smothering them uh, with your magically spells. It's, it's fantastic. It's uh, really great. I did have to cut down Sandworm Convergence, uh, it was the second to last cut, I think. I really wanted to keep it in, but, you know, it is it is whatever. I'm running 35 lands because I have such a low uh, average mana value. I think that should be fine. Uh, we'll we'll kind of see if it is. Go into Historic Brawl. Last one I played was Rats. Play some Sithis. The only reason I'm recording this um, on queue and not with channel viewers is because it took me uh, Wednesdays, which is the days that I currently record this. Um, I might end up shifting some days around. Um, it's just because Wednesdays... <laughs> uh, um, is my most, like, busy day. Um, please tell me Judith targets. Ha <laughs> ha, get effed. I'm keeping this. I'll go ahead and put this ley line on. Um, right. So, so I'm usually kind of tired. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Um, by the time... By the time I'm, I, I get home, so it's harder for me to do the necessary things. Um, they're red-black, which means they're relatively unlikely to have, like, any action against me. But I do want to make sure that Sith... Like, Sithis is still a creature, so I want to make sure that I can play Sithis without her just dying horribly. This is absolutely horrifying. Got Sithis here. I will need to draw... A lands in order for me to, you know, do anything. Now, notably, I can't enchant my Sithis. I'm going to take seven here. That's fine, I guess. I guess I can cycle cast out. Okay, fantastic. Um, all right, what am I going to play here? Target creature. Um, um, I'm just going to do this and target Judith. Why would I do that? Why would I do this? I'm not very smart, okay? I have an Ailsid, which is, like, awkward, because it does nothing. Just draw me a card. But I also, I also can't target it. So there's reasons for playing Sterling Grove, okay? Sure. Ow. I think I took up my Wrath of God. I maybe shouldn't have taken out my Wrath of God. Um, let's go ahead and play this. Gain life, draw a card. Uh, season, of, season of Growth is interesting, but it's a little slow. So I think I need to just Banishing Light the Predator. It's fine if you sack, uh, sack Judith. You have to hit one of your own things. <laughs> Get effed. That that's fine. I don't care all that much. Oh look, me here. He's binding. Don't mind if I do. Uh, go away. That thing's just too large. Uh, no attacks. So here I can block. Block if I'd like. Okay, never mind. I can still block there though. Block here. Yeah, I'm block here. 
So they have two triggers that they can't hit any of my stuff with. So they're just gonna have to shoot themselves, which is just hilarious. I absolutely love it. I was really considering taking out Leyline. I'm very glad that I didn't. Um, so we can do Season of Growth into Nahiri's Binding. Change the creature or Planeswalker. Can't attack or block. Um, alternatively, I can just cast Cast Out on Judith here. Just stem the bleeding a bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Then if I draw a land, I can cast Seasons of Growth. Unless I already played a land. I legitimately don't recall. Go away, Judith. Judith, Judith. Okay, I did already play a land. That is fine. I just have to stem the bleeding until I can just play enough enchantments at once. That'll be okay. If you control another pirate, well, you currently don't control another pirate. Menace counter. Probably going to be on the, yep. Pain. Without love. Okay. That's actually super poggers. Because I can range your class. Gain like draw. to get uh, a nice blocker. And I think I'm actually going to do that. I was going to initially use Cartouche, but I think the green rune lets me fight fools, right? I want to make sure before. No, it's trample. Curses. Um, this is still just another blocker. Uh, each creature controls menace. The thing is, this has to go away. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I think I'm just going to do this and hit the mentor. That way they can't pump all three of these things. I'll pass the turn. They do all have Menace, though, which is an issue. Two, four, six, seven. Ah! I've died. If I block this, block this, two, four, six, seven, I lose Sithis. Although I guess I don't want to block this because they can internalize it next turn. But it's the only thing that is valuable blocking. This is like so close to being good. One, two, three, four. I'll get that back. Yeah, I just don't think... I don't think I'll be able to do anything. A part of me wants to just, like, rope my opponent because they've been BMing me this entire time while I'm very obviously trying to think about this game. If I block here, they can do that next turn. If I block here... They'll just have it on the field. I'll have this. I can cast... Do three. I can cast Reforge. Cartouche. I don't think that I can survive. I guess I maybe... Maybe I should have sacked that to get an enchantment. Though I don't, I don't know if there's any enchantments that I had. Let's see, one. I don't know that I would have drawn the card. So I would have only had six mana. And I believe I only really have like five mana things. Cavalier of Dawn, I wouldn't be able to actually grab. Yeah, I don't think I could get Marari's Wake, but I had no ability to really use anything else with it. Yeah, I don't really think there was much I could have done there. 
Um, so I can prison realm something. The issue, the issue is just this. So yeah, I think I am just boned. Um, I initially did have Wrath of God in here. But I took it out because I figured that I'd have enough life. But menace is hard. I did take out Omen of the Sun, which I am now regretting. But I'll try another game. Hope all of you had a good week so far. Oh, yay. Uh, do I just concede? Um... No, I guess I shouldn't just concede. So this is nice. It's not an enchantment, but it's nice because I can play it on turn one and then uh, Sithis will be protected. And we do need protection for Sithis. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play Sithis. And I really like Unbridled Growth here because it draws me two cards. It doesn't do anything necessarily. The deck really isn't um, mana intensive in terms of like uh, colored pips. So, um, we don't really need the first ability, but... Horrifying. Uh, but the fact that... That's going to come in tapped as well, so that's nice. Uh, the fact that it just gives me cheap card draw is nice. In this situation, I might actually just keep it around. Um, yeah, I think we'll just attack here. I could even regrow it. But yeah, I think we're just good chilling for a bit. Uh, next turn, I can Cartouche. Though my opponent has nothing to fight. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Alright. Oh. Excuse me. So we still have the self of the savior protecting the Sithis. Our opponent might be able to Golos here. And we currently don't have a way to kill Golos. Which is a bit of a problem. Let's see. I play this. Trigger this. This becomes two power. I play this to make it three power. I can play this to make it four power. It's not enough. Um, five mana. I, I'm just off of being able to play all of them. Um, I guess... I could try... Damn, yeah, it's, it's... Maybe what I do is I attack with Sithis. Then snakes can veil Sithis. Yeah. Attack with Sithis. My opponent shouldn't block. They don't, because they're smart. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. My opponent undoubtedly will be able to do stupid nonsense things. Um, I think I'm going to go for the slower game plan here. I want to make sure that my stuff is hexproof as well as indestructible. Hmm. 
I guess technically all that was was drawing a card and getting some birds. Oh, that's that's fun. This is why I don't like playing against Golos. This is why um, five color good stuff cards are banned. Um, in my um, Discord format, um, we're still trying to work out a way because Golos Golos is very cool. I do like Golos, um, but we're still trying to work out a way. Okay, fuck you. Um, where people can still play Golos without it being degenerate. A lot of the five color cards are a lot easier to do. Like essentially, like if you're playing uh, the first sliver, play a sliver deck. If you're playing um, Tiamat, play a dragon deck. Like don't use it as an essentially an excuse to play five color good stuff. Um, because what I want on my Discord essentially is for people to enjoy playing the game. And fuck off. And oftentimes you'll see situations in which that just can't happen. So again, even though we're playing against five color good stuff and we're going second, which is just worse, I will once again attempt to play a game. Unfortunately, I, I do legitimately think that five color good stuff decks are um, hugely detrimental to the health of Historic Brawl. Um, health more in the lines of how often people find the, the format fun. Because despite what some people believe, you know, um, there is legitimate uh, reason to want a format to be fun, especially one like this, right? Um, and two, the number of non-games. And when I say non-games, I don't just mean... Sure, we'll risk it. I don't just mean um, games where people instantly concede. I mean games where one player literally plays more magic than another player um in in my discord format all of the all of the time walks banned i have no issue with time, uh, time walks inherently um in a comp in competitive environments feel free you know um they're legal in i don't appreciate that they're legal in gladiator um, and I have no issue with people playing playing them in Gladiator against me. Uh, that's, that's suspicious as all hell, dude. Ah, I should have done that because I could have played Gl Glorious Anthem. Um, so they're probably going to be playing Bridge next turn. Luckily, that's the beginning of upkeep, so I have a chance to find things for it. I'm just going to cast the first Aron games. Like, yes, I could hold up histor uh, Heroic Intervention, but... I just, I feel like I need to grab... Grab things to find an answer. I'm not going to attack here. One damage is very meaning meaningless. Um, right, yeah, so like... I'm totally fine with time walks in general. Um, I, for what it's worth, I complained about. Um, this just made Sithis huge. Yeah, how about no? Unsummon, really? Interesting. Um. And then I will play a Sterling Grove. So you can F off. Um, but yeah, in, in a format like this, they just lead to too many non-games. I'd rather they didn't. So that, that, I mean, that's that's essentially uh, some of the reasoning for my, my ban list. What do you all like to see like me go through? Because I have written down like legitimate reasonings for all of my bands, watch lists, um, etc., for my for the the Discord server brawl, um, is that something you'd be interested in watching? Seeing like getting kind of my opinions on why I banned things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if so, I, I'm totally open to do that. The saving grace against five color good stuff decks is just when they screw up their mana. Wow, they cast Essica as Essica. That's interesting. Play planes here. Bind it. 
with the one ring. Yeah, bind it with the one ring. Fusion of growth. That's nice to see. Some smorkin. And we're discarding... I guess one of the lands. And that's that's one of the reasons I, uh, I, I felt comfortable playing so few lands. Is like, this deck tries to draw a lot of cards. Why? If you had this, why play Essica? Like, that does kind of just confuse me. I mean, that's just rude. Take action. That's fine. We have this, which is nice. Get a gold token. So this costs four. I'd have two left over. Could play rest in peace here. Um, oh, excuse me. I'd have three left over. In that case, I could play Sanctum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight, unfortunately. Um, sure, let's cast Sithis. And then play Sanctum. I don't think that I need that. Yeah, let's go ahead and play Sanctum. I would like to see a land. I know I discarded a land. A lot of blues and red I'm seeing. Not a lot of blacks. Large chonky boy is going to get exiled. Hey, it's a land. Bye, Chonky Boy. Wait, what? 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 Oh, I'm, all right. Never mind. I'm dumb. I, I see it. I'm stupid. That's fine. I'm just a not smart person. I, I forgot the whole counters being added. I guess I did need the uh, Faith's Fetters. That's an oops. Take the damage. Add white mana. Play this. Let's see. Let's start with a boom. I cannot target my own creatures. Right. They're tapped out. I'm activating this. I am going to grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This costs nine mana, doesn't it? Oh, it costs eight. Huh. Right, but I don't have the, I can't I can't cast Dent. Damn it. It was so close. Um, Morari's Wake is kind of greedy. I think I need to just grab a Banishing Light. Then we're going to do this. Target this. Didn't even play a land. That's sick. Uh, then we're going to Banishing Light. Th 
this. I guess I could have done this, but eh. I'll just keep taking six, I'm fine with that. Uh let's see four mana. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's target this. Oh hey, look at that. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and play this. Uh, you know what? Sure, fine. I have, what, two mana here? Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Keep this on top. Uh, then we do that smork thing. And, I mean, we're still at 24, so... Get bent. Uh, next turn we can play Heliot. We have protection for our Sithis. Just play chooses an artifact, creature, enchantment, or planeswalker. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that's going to set us back. They let us keep the Sanctum? Why, though? I wonder if I can still kill my opponent here. I guess I just worry that my opponent has, like, a counter spell or bounce spell or something. I guess I could just do this, but um could also idyllic tutor. One, two, three. Screw it. Lord Bolas always coming in clutch. Those pecs are boob size, man. Oh, counter spell. Not enough. Luckily, sometimes you can beat the, uh, I mean, what is worth, I, the only reason I was able to win this game is because my opponent slipped up on mana. That is the only reason. Hundred percent. Um, let's see. I can't give trample. I can cast this and still do other dumb stuff, so I'm gonna do that. I cast Heliod. Going to cast Fall of the Imposter. I'm going to make this larger. He's going to come in. I'm going to make this larger. I'm going to smork with it. My opponent blocks like the feeble creature they are. That is what was deserved. So yeah, very obviously, the five color good stuff decks can lose, but I've found that typically the reason that they lose has more to do with um, them not drawing the cards that they need at the right time more than them being outplayed. So again, if you would be interested in seeing kind of an explanation on um, why the things are banned uh, in my uh, Discord server format that uh, a lot of people in there play with, um, feel free to let me know. I would obviously like to thank my lovely patrons for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, uh, you can do so by uh, following the Patreon link in the description. You can sub to my Twitch channel. 
uh, or you can become a channel member here on YouTube. All that stuff financially helps me out. And then, of course, you can like, comment, and subscribe. That stuff helps the channel as well. Until next time, all will be one.